Hello from Tennessee. I've had the tutor just a little over a week, and I wanted to share some thoughts. I'll be right back. So last week, last Saturday, I received the Tudor Black Bay 41, the blue variant. And I've had it a week now, and uh, it really has dominated my wrist time throughout the last week. Like I indicated, I think it's a couple of my earlier videos, uh, what I do for work, I felt like it was a great work watch. Um, I currently, or up until this point, had dominantly wore uh, my Oris Big Crown Pointer date to work. And now, uh, this last week, with the exception of one day, I wore this every day to work. And the day I didn't wear it, uh, when I got home, I put it on. So it's definitely dominating the wrist time. And some initial thoughts that I have as I kind of reflect on the purchase, because um, by far is the most that I have ever put down on a watch or spent on a watch. Uh, in a nutshell, I still feel it was worth it. The, the build quality and just the overall aesthetic and so forth, um, I feel is superior to anything else I have. But it was a big jump, and I've been doing a lot of reflecting this week in general just about what's next and how I'm going to uh, continue down this road of collecting watches. And I'm at a point right now where um, I'm in the process of putting in motion, um, selling a few, and uh, going towards something else uh, as well, which I, I'm in no rush, to, I'm in no rush to do it, uh, but I'm starting to realize that the level that I want to play at going forward has probably jumped up a fair amount. And again, that does not take away anything from other tiers of watches uh, too, um, but I'm just starting to realize as I kind of move forward, um, I stopped short of saying like a less is more type of thing, uh, but I currently have 20 watches. I think right now about selling four of them to get one, um, and I still may have to put a little money in depending on what I do. Um, but that's the direction I'm moving right now um, to move some of to move some of the ones that I currently have. Um, I'm gonna kind of keep it on low key. What I'm thinking about right now, I'll use that for content, um, but it is a more upper level uh, price point, um, most likely um, over 1500 So it, it's, it's interesting as I've progressed over the last couple of years, kind of where I'm landing and how I want to go forward. And I, and I continue to be mindful of really wanting to acquire pieces that are going to stay in the collection. And again, this, um, this Black Bay uh, 41 is an outstanding piece. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'll eventually do a review on this, but there's lots of good ones out there already, so you, you all know about that. Um, but I am absolutely loving this. Um, it, is a, it is a fantastic watch. Is it a perfect watch? Probably not, but at, but at the same token, um, far exceeds my expectations. Um, I had a couple things uh, initially when I had it, or when I got it, that maybe I was a little bit concerned about. Um, size being the major one. Um, it's um, definitely a watch that has presence. Um, but as the days that I've had it on the wrist, um, I've really really enjoyed the sizing and the fit too as well so um, I'm just uh, ecstatic about it still um, I definitely feel it's a keeper I think it's a I think it's a timeless piece um, I think it's a simplistic piece from the standpoint of not having any complications on it and I, and I think in general too as I don't know it's one of those things I like the simplicity I'm starting to like this simplicity of watches and really moving towards no date 
variants, although what I'm thinking about next has a date, so that's why I'm kind of like wishy-washy with certain things too as well. Um, but I'm definitely enjoying the journey. This was a, this was a great piece. Um, I've got a great story behind it. Um, I posted some uh, previous vids on this. If you hadn't got a chance to watch the Watchdog podcast, um, catch that. Clayton and I had a great discussion on it too as well. So again, just a little bit of rambling on where I'm at with this after a week on the wrist. Um, I definitely am going to continue to talk about it as it's really transforming how I look at this hobby and how I collect going forward, um, for the time being at least. As you know, if you've been in this any amount of time, that can, that can kind of flip on a dime. Uh, so as always, stay positive, make friends, enjoy the journey. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.